Hello again from Skip, Victor Echo 6 Bravo Golf Tangle. 70 centimeter EME or 432 megahertz EME is uh, not my favorite uh, band for uh, conditions. I'm, I'm a bit of a lazy operator and I like my signals to be good, clear, and strong, but I went to all the trouble to build this feed. I guess I thought I should uh, try it out anyways. Uh, what do I got to lose? So a bunch of things to get ready for it. I uh, First thing, one of the main things I do is get the rotating feed ready to uh, put up on the dish. This thing is uh, the heaviest feed I've built so far. I think, if I remember right, is over 20 pounds. It has a uh, stepping motor and other mechanisms to rotate the feed. And uh, let's put it this way, it's a bear cat to put up there. So I jumped ahead a bunch here and uh, we're up on the elevator about to uh, install this thing into the uh, feed assembly holder that's on the end of the uh, dish arms. The uh, biggest problem with this feed is, other than the weight, it's its length. I have to reach out way past the uh, end of the mount, which means I'm kind of leaning out past the elevator. And uh, it's a bit scary, but <laughs> like I've said before, it's not that dangerous. Uh, there's no way I'd be falling out, so uh, we get her done. Once I get it in the slides of the uh, mount, I usually clamp it down and hook up the RF cables and stuff, but I'm just going to save time here. I'm going to get the control lines hooked up and uh, the DC power supply that cooks into this feed, and you'll see the uh, control circuit kick in and uh, calibrate the uh, rotary section of the feed to uh, zero degrees. One more cable here to hook up, and it's the uh, DC supply that uh, feeds 16 volts up to the stepping motor control circuit. At this point, I turn on the uh, power switch and away it goes. So the feed rotated and found zero degrees by the uh, built-in home switch. So it proves that circuit's working. So I can finish uh, clamping everything up here and get the cables hooked up and call her good. We got back in the shack and uh, one thing I don't think I've ever done, or recorded anyways, uh, was do a solar test just to see what kind of a increase I get off the cold sky. So uh, that was the next thing I did with this uh, setup. I moved the drives back and forth a little bit, but uh, this is about as good as I got was 13 dB over cold sky, so I'm not sure if that's uh, very good or not. I'll have to look into that. So back in the shack, <clears throat> nothing uh, you haven't seen before in other videos. Just mainly get down to the uh, UHF amplifier and get it powered up. This is an amp I built many, many years ago. It's the K2RIW design and uh, mainly consists of just a pair of 4CX250 very rugged tubes. So after a good warm-up uh, time of the filaments, it's uh, time to flip on the high voltage. This high voltage for the uh, anodes of the tubes uh, with no load is straight around three kilovolts, but uh, under load it drops to just above two kilovolts somewhere in that neck of the woods No screen voltage at this time it uh, comes on when the amplifier is keyed So this amplifier is a little underpowered I think for what I need for AME, but it, uh, it's doing the job for now It was originally uh, built many years ago for <laughs> you can believe it fast can television so I'll keyed it up and you can see the screen voltage increase and the plate voltage is way over so it's got to tune the plate circuit into resonance. This uh, amplifier does work good but it, as it heats up rather fast it does detune itself so you, you got to go and detune it out of, out of uh, resonance and then let it heat up and, and go into resonance if you know what I mean. It, uh, <laughs> it gets the job done. 
So it's a bit of a juggling act, uh, playing with the uh, play tune, the antenna load, and the grid circuit, back and forth, back and forth, till we get there where I kind of want it. Oh, anyways, the RF comes out of the back of the amplifier there just by the uh, exhaust fan, cooling fan, and uh, slowly goes up the cables up to uh, the roof and over the uh, one beam of the house. If you're wondering what the uh, fiberglass insulation is all about, well, it's uh, soundproofing, uh, which goes both ways. <laughs> My noise going upstairs and the noise upstairs coming down here. Cable winds up connecting to the uh, bird RF watt meter uh, pickup coupler. From the bird coupler here, for the watt meter, it uh, carries on with some uh, super flex over to the uh, main line that goes outside, which is the 1 and 5 eighths inch heliax. So, got uh, all that running, so I got the tracking system online and uh, got it to swing over towards the moon, is, which is not too great for me as be looking right into the trees again, but that's where you start with. So about the contest, I, uh, I'm not a real contester. I just like getting on there and making a few contacts and more or less just test the equipment. So I, uh, I did some micro testing through the trees. It didn't work too good. But later on in the uh, evening, we, uh, I came up with a few signals here and I made some contacts. So here's some recordings. The next day, Jack, PA3DZL, emailed me. He's been wanting to uh, schedule a contact with me on this frequency for a long time, so we, uh, we set up a schedule for the next day.
Okay, I may have built this uh, crazy feed rotary adjustment box, but uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to run it. It's, <laughs> I haven't used it for a while, so it's still confusing to me. Okay, before I go any farther here, I want to explain something, why I send such slow CW, uh, especially to my friends who live here locally that uh, like to bug me about it. Um, slow CW gets through all the fading and the liberation and the Faraday effects that uh, happens when the signal's bouncing from the moon and back to the earth again. Uh, anything faster, you just, you're going to lose just so many dits and dots that you'll never make sense of it. Besides, I can't copy fast CW, so uh, there's no sense trying to send it fast.
And this is when my camera runs out of memory, so that's the end of this story, which has been enough anyways. This is a picture of Jack, uh, PA3DZL, and his impressive looking uh, antenna array. I'm glad he contacted me because this was a lot of fun. So that pretty well wraps it up for the uh, 432 or 70 centimeter weekend for me. It was a lot more fun than I uh, actually expected. I, I usually hesitate this frequency, but uh, had a good time. So this makes uh, 11 initial contacts for me on this frequency. I got another VUCC award to work towards too, and I think I need, uh, what, another 39? So a little ways to go yet. So once again, uh, thanks for stopping and have a look. Fun putting these together for you, so I appreci appreciate the comments. Same as for now from Skip, Victor Echo 6, Bravo, Golf, Tango.